Fire Station 27 is back up and running this week after being closed for several months while the city addressed concerns about asbestos in the air system. Attorney Scott Morrow represents some of the firefighters who work in the building constructed in the 1950s. We're very upset about that because we still have pictures as of yesterday that have asbestos in the uh, air conditioning ducts that uh, could possibly uh, expose the firefighters to dangers of asbestos. Mayor Randall Woodfin's office says the safety of firefighters is a top priority, and while all repairs have now been completed, the city says it's certainly willing to listen to any other concerns there may be. I know Randall uh, has a good heart and he wants what's best for his employees. In this instance, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt that perhaps he was being misled by those who have inspected the building. Mayor Woodfin's office says a number of issues were addressed while the fire station was closed. That includes rooftop ductwork being sealed, rough or damaged ceiling tiles being replaced, the removal of asbestos flooring, and the installation of new tile flooring. The city says there was also professional duct cleaning. You know, my heart is with first responders. I'm a retired police officer, uh, and first responders deserve the best building they can work out of. This is a sick building. It's called sick building syndrome, and so if we can't keep our first responders safe, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Morrow says he reached out to the Jefferson County Health Department about asbestos and air quality concerns at Fire Station 27 and is waiting to hear back. He's also considering legal action that would force the city to close the fire station again. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.